The newly minted Supreme Court nominee, Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson, is spending the weekend preparing to meet with senators ahead of her confirmation hearings. If confirmed, she would be the first black woman on the high court. But there are already signs of Republican opposition. As we've mentioned, Senator Lindsey Graham tweeted that her nomination meant, quote, the radical left had won over President Biden again. Even though he voted to confirm Jackson to the D.C. Court of Appeals less than a year ago. Joining me now, Graham's fellow South Carolinian, House Majority Whip, Congressman James Clyburn. Whip Clyburn, thank you, as always, for coming to the Sunday show. Well, thank you very much for having me. So, uh, we'll talk about Senator Graham in a moment, but, Whip Clyburn, you were the one who pushed then-candidate Biden to promise to put a black woman on the Supreme Court two years and, I think, two years and two days ago. Your choice, Judge Childs, wasn't selected, but how do you feel about the president keeping his promise? Well, I feel great about him keeping his promise. You may recall when I first uh, offered uh, that uh, to uh, the president as being a part of his platform to run on, I didn't have anybody in mind mm -hmm. and didn't put forth any name until I saw so many other names being proposed. And I thought, well, there's a young lady here in South Carolina who I think is a very, very uh, qualified. So I advanced her name among all the others. And if you mm -hmm. call, recall, there are a couple of dozen out there, all of whom are highly qualified. And so uh, my candidate uh, did not make uh, it to the end. Uh, she still is an outstanding person. And the one who made it to the end is an awesome nominee. Uh, judge Brown uh, Jackson is an incredibly uh, prepared judge. She will make an outstanding jurist. And I'm pleased the president has put her name forward. And if, if memory serves, I mean, Judge Childs, it has been nominated to. It's the D.C. court. Is it the D.C. Court of Appeals or the District Court in South Carolina? She is on the District Court in South Carolina. Been there for about uh, ten or eleven years. She has right. been nominated by the president for the D.C. Circuit, which mm -hmm. is the court that uh, Judge Brown Jackson right. currently sits on. Her nomination was made, and her um, confirmation hearing was postponed when her name came up. Mm -hmm. uh, for this uh, consideration here. And let's just remind everyone that the D.C. Court of Appeals is considered to be the resting place for future uh, nominees and future Supreme Court justices. But Whip Clyburn, what is your reaction to Senator Graham? I mean, he voted for, uh, for Judge Jackson's confirmation to the D.C. Court of Appeals, and now he's saying her nomination means that the president has been captured by the far left? Well, I don't know anything about the far left. I'm often uh, put to the far left by a lot of my colleagues. Then I pick up uh, uh, some source, and they say that I am uh, not progressive enough. Uh, others say I'm moderate. I don't know what I am, but I know who I am. And I think uh, that this is an outstanding nominee, and I would hope uh, that uh, my friend, uh, Lindsey Graham, uh, will come around to supporting her as he did before. Mm -hmm. All right, let's switch, let's switch gears and talk about the, the State of the Union on Tuesday. The president goes into his first State of the Union with an approval rating at 37 percent, according to the latest Washington Post poll. Will the president's speech be the reset that he needs? Well, you know, Jonathan, I never keep this book far from me. Hmm. This is David McCullough's book on Truman. I keep this book around simply because I believe strongly that President Biden, and I have written about this, I believe it, he finds himself in the same place that Truman found himself uh, back in the 1940s, when this country was wrestling with states' rights, led by Strom Thurmond from South Carolina, wrestling with whether or not to integrate the armed service like he is trying to put a black woman uh, on uh, the Supreme Court. These issues are being revisited in this country under the head of critical race theory. So I would say to Joe Biden, stay true to yourself. You have demonstrated time and time again that you know what this country is all about. 
that you know who you are and keep pursuing the uh, perfect union that all of us are permit permitted to. So these numbers, if you go back, Truman numbers were in the tank. Now people looking back saying, Harry Truman ranks among the best presidents we ever had. And I have always compared to Joe Biden with Harry Truman when it comes to this. Now, people talk about other uh, former presidents. It's Harry Truman. So I would say to the president, take a look at David McCullough's book, like I do uh, almost every day, and pattern so much of what you're doing today after what history teaches us uh, was the case with Harry Truman. Congressman James Clyburn of South Carolina, the majority whip for the, of the House, thank you, as always, for coming to The Sunday Show. Well, thank you very much for having me.